am moving very soon and I need to clear out some stuff. And this is a folder of old paintings and drawings that have moved with me to, they were one flat, two flats, moved back home for a bit, came back to another flat, came to another flat. So they've been in five different living locations. Maybe that shows how hectic my life is. But they've been in five locations and I think it's time to get rid of them. But I wanted to show you them because sometimes I feel like this is a bit of a highlight reel of paintings that I do like. Those are the only ones that I kind of ship out all the time on the TikToks. Uh, but I wanted to show you some of my not so great pieces from over the years as, I don't know, just a reminder that you've got to go through some of the bad stuff to get to the good stuff. And I also create bad stuff all the time now. And I think that's just part of, it's part of life, part of the process. Um, but, so let's start. This is a painting of a plant, which is interesting. It reminds me of Medusa. I mean, the brush strokes are a bit sad and it's just a bit, the composition, weird. I don't know. I prefer this one. This is another one of like a little snake one I have, which to be fair, I think the colours are, are kind of okay. Don't mind that. Um, ooh, this is a portrait. Always good to see people's portraits, Melanie, because portraits always start off really scary if you can't paint or draw, which I was struggling with at the time. So this is a portrait. Uh, her eyes are very lopsided. But we're just going with it. She's got some unblended contour going on. But yeah, not my finest hour. And then we've got another portrait, which she, she's hit the bronzer hard. She's also got like random bits of colour. I just wanted to inject some colour, some spice into my feet pieces. So yeah, and her eyes are way too small. Struggling with the eyes pretty hard. Um, then I wouldn't recommend going through this phase because this is me just copying another artist that I saw on Instagram, shameless, because um, this is what she was doing. She was doing like backgrounds and then like little ladies with line drawings. And I don't know, it just wasn't me. I like the background, but it's all wavy. Um, but yes, not to my finest, not to my finest hour. Have we got anything else that's interesting to show you? Oh, and then this, I should get rid of this, but this, she has an extraordinarily long neck, but I was really proud of this at the time. If anyone knows the artist Elena Gould, I love her paintings, I still do, and I tried to do this like textured piece in oil paint. I've got the proportions all wrong, which kind of fucks it up, and I also messed up um, this bit here, but I was happy with some of the texture in this one. Um, and again, I was I was copying her style, but that's fine, I think, to start with. Um, and I really enjoyed painting this one, but it was a nightmare to dry. I feel like this took me weeks to dry. But yeah, I need to let this one go because no one needs to be carrying around. Like I'm carrying around dead weight of all of the art, old art that I have created. And we've got to start afresh in my new home. Um, so... I can show you some other bits. Maybe I should show you bits that I've created that are bad more recently too. Because even though I can paint now, sometimes I can't. <laughs> sometimes I can't. And it still comes through. Um, and sometimes also, even if you can paint, you need to like try something new, shake things up, which means like going back to like square one again. So maybe I'll do another one of like some more bad stuff that I've painted in the last year or so.